So it looks like they're at that cellar. What's that one right under the uh, the floor? Because you can just say I'll pop an arrow in a second. Um, where, as you can see underneath, what an nice, all that graffiti just looks like something out, you know, years and years gone by. He needs to go, he certainly needs to go, that one. And welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to have a bit of a look at the um, the Woolworth store. It's been quite a while since we um, we last visited. Um, and I've seen or heard uh, that there's been quite a few changes. Most of it's gone. So yeah, come and join me on this uh, bit of a walk around the old Woolworth store on Bond Street in Blackpool. Just uh, hit Bond Street. What a uh, complete transformation! So last time was here, um, the uh, the wall, which uh, run right sort of parallel here, was completely up, and uh, the scaffolding that is now completely gone. And uh, you see the uh, they've raked it all, and uh, what a what a transformation! So yeah, you can see the site is, uh, well, basically it's gone. There's just a, a bit of hardcore, a bit of rubble left. And uh, the whole lot is now gone. Remember these little uh, cappuccino cafe, just where them pile of bricks were. And uh, yeah, now it's, uh, it's gone. So it looks like they've, uh, they've filled all the cellar in, looks like. And all that's left, as you can see, is uh, just the rubble check this out it's a, a complete like I said transformation that's uh, that's incredible so you see the uh, the digger there he's uh, still there look at the uh, huge boulder there. let's just uh, zoom in on that one look at that huge like sort of block that's that's massive and where that's come out from but that is a uh, one large uh, one large uh, rock piece of concrete Yeah, so you can see all the uh, all the brickwork. I imagine that'll be uh, maybe used for some hardcore, and the rest be uh, taken away. And uh, yeah, what a what a transformation on the this site. So yeah, it's a what a transformation. Like I said, um, so we'll just walk up to the uh, the other end. Have a have a bit of a look around this area. And then we'll pop onto the uh, the promenade. It's a bit of a bit of an early morning video, this one. Um, but yeah, it's uh, wow. That's all I can say. Since I last visited, um, it's probably about a week ago. Our last was uh, last down here, and uh, yeah, it's certainly uh, things have certainly moved on. But, uh, so yeah, goodbye to uh, to Woolworths and. Um, Hopefully the uh, the area will be transformed. Uh, I know they've got planning permission for the uh, the flats and the car park. Um, so let's hope that all goes through. And we see a, see a great change in this area now. So it looks like they're at that cellar. What's that went right under the uh, the floor? Because you can just say I'll pop an arrow in a second. Um, where as you can see underneath. So I'd imagine obviously they need to uh, fill all that one in. Yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly gone, so as long as they've just probably got that, take that, that last bit of wall out of there and uh, just clean the rest of it up, but it's, uh, they've certainly got this down in the, uh, in the time frame. So let's have a, a walk up Waterloo Road. Who remembers Waterloo Road if you haven't been down here for, for some time? And you can see they've got the, uh, the Bull, they've got Gordon Street. So yeah, I've got quite a few shops up this way. And, uh, yeah, it's not as busy as it used to be once over. Um, but we've still got a, a few shops open. Um, and still trade. We've got cash converters up here. I think we've got a little uh, pound baker if, I, if I'm memory serves. And uh, yeah, we've got the, uh, the Smart Mart. It's like a little market, that one. 
Uh, so we have got quite a few, a few shops still up this way. And uh, there's a independent pet shop um, as well. So I'm not too sure what happened here. I think this one's uh, closed down. I think they had a bit of a closing down sale. Essentials. So I think that one's uh, that one closed down. If I'm if I'm right, I did see something here. Yeah, you can see. Uh, there we go. Um, four light to sale. So that one. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I saw the uh, the the sign in the window. Uh, I think we're selling like uh, rugs and all sorts, like a pound, all sorts of uh, cheap things, just giving it away, just to get rid of the stock. And uh, oh, in fact, there we go. This pet shop. It was open the last time I was here, and that one's gone. So that pet shop there, I just mentioned that in the video a few weeks ago, uh, and that one has now gone as well. What a shame. Then you got the uh, the other shops um, forward. You got your Iceland and your cash generators, all that around this area. So yeah, what a what a transformation that is, and uh, literally pulled out a week since I uh, visited. So they uh, they certainly didn't hang around in bringing that uh, that rear wall down uh, with all the scaffolding. So you know it's a uh, it's probably another week, and that will be completely cleared, all gone, and ready for development. So I think what we're doing, we're heading to town um, or the promenade. Oh, it's a very early morning video, this one. It's just interesting to see, uh, see what's going on, the crack of dawn. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll pop onto the promenade and uh, see if there's anything uh, going on, anything new on that one. Uh, you can still see the, uh, the tower, uh, about eight minutes past seven, all lit up in that wonderful uh, gold colour. And like I said, it looks, uh, looks fantastic, even at uh, this time in the morning. So yeah, he's gonna have a, a bit of a walk near the uh, the front. It's the Odyssey. You can see the uh, Blackpool cleaners, always, always busy. And, uh, well, I just parked the car. That was uh, busy down there, so uh, they do uh, an amazing job in Blackpool. Yeah, just walking, walking past the Odyssey. We'll have a bit of a walk near uh, sort of North Pier. Uh, on this uh, really lovely morning. Uh, I think we've escaped to the weather um, in comparison to other parts. You see the sun breaking out and the, the gold is still on the tower. So uh, it looks fantastic. So, yeah, as the, uh, as the cleaners prepare for another, another day in Blackpool, they always uh, keep it fantastically clean along the prom let's have a quick look at the uh, the sea because the tide looks uh, sort of half in half out i think it's uh due to come in but uh yeah look at that and this little spot here uh, is famous for uh, for grabbing the last bit of beach it's the last bit of beach to be covered in blackpool and uh, there's not a soul not a soul on it at the moment. So yeah, just coming up near the uh, the spindles, and uh, you just see the just a couple, the lights still on. Now I've noticed this uh, when I do drive past uh, early in the morning. You just see the uh, handful of lights still on, which is a bit of a strange one. All the rest are turned off, but yeah, just a. Handful of lights, um, always left on. So you see how quiet Blackpool is. About quarter past seven, twenty past seven in the morning. It's uh, it's like a ghost town. And, uh, it certainly does come to life in the evening. I think that's the best time in Blackpool. The uh, the evening for the uh, for the lights. For the entertainment and for the atmosphere it's always a always a fantastic time yeah you see the uh, the tower and there's over five million bricks 
in that building that's, in, that's another incredible fact and how lovely does all that look in, uh, in gold and you can see there's not a, not a soul on the, uh, on the comedy carpet well like I said in a, a few hours um, it will be uh, absolutely rammed packed again And you see we've got the early morning deliveries we've got one two three lorries there, including shoe zone all getting their uh, deliveries all getting that uh, restocked um for another another day's trading you can see the uh, council workers still cleaning cleaning away We don't normally uh, have a walk in town. Um, but yeah, it's uh, even uh, I think even McDonald's is uh, open. I've seen a, a few people coming out of McDonald's, probably grabbing their uh, the early breakfast. Uh, I imagine all the uh, small little independent cafes are, are closed at this time. You got Coral Island. See all the machines flashing away through the windows. That's a, that's another great one. And then we've got Happy Days. There's plenty of uh, sort of arcades and things you can go and visit while you're in Blackpool. Yeah, so this is uh, the uh, the beginning of Central Drive, and it stretches right the way down. There's quite a few shops well, uh, we've put on previous videos which have uh, closed up and a lot of buildings just need that bit of uh, TLC to bring them back up um, just to uh, make the area that little bit a little bit smarter so uh, fingers crossed the uh, the do start to invest in this area because this is the uh, one of the areas I feel and a lot of people feel is uh, has been let down over the uh, over the years and that's uh, that's another one so they've got the uh, just coming up to it shortly it's the uh, the magistrates court and the police station which is uh, just in the distance there and that'll be another one to be coming down i have heard it's over october time so that'll be a, an interesting one when that comes down you know will they uh, detonate it well, they, uh, they try to bulldoze it. It'd be uh, an interesting one. So if I can find out anything on that one, but yeah, that's the uh, the next one to be uh, to be coming down. So it's walking past the uh, old Bonnie Street Market. You see the uh, fence is uh, has fell down. That's completely uh, gone now. Yeah, this is the old uh, Bonnie Street Market, and you can see the uh, the police station. What a what an eye saw that looks now. Let's, uh, let's zoom in a, a little bit for you. And uh, what an ice! All that graffiti just looks like something out, oh, you know, years and years gone by. It needs to go. It certainly needs to go. That one. Uh, it just looks uh, it looks terrible. So these were the uh, the steps leading up to the uh, the uh, the police station, the courthouse. You can see now they've uh, put like a, a temporary gate on because uh, a lot of people were going up there and uh, messing about, and it's full of asbestos, etc. And uh, you can now see they've put that uh, temporary gate on to uh, hopefully prevent people from uh, entering uh, the building. see uh, Mr. Chris Higgett has uh, left the building but he will be arriving uh, in the next
next few hours I'd imagine and uh, yeah this is a it's a little famous one he's always uh, he's always busy you see on the uh, on the sign there the daddy has left the building but yeah another another great one uh, always a always a friendly chappy uh, so yeah he's uh, he's not here but he will be here later on so I hope you enjoyed that video uh, a bit of a walk around uh, and yeah the uh, the Woolworths um, site is certainly uh, certainly come on uh, it's amazing uh, how it's uh, how it's gone in such a, a small amount of time so yeah, if you haven't uh, hit that subscribe hit the subscribe button if you do like this video uh, hit the like button uh, until next time I'll see you in the next video take care bye bye